Back when I started my career as a motoring journalist, the Fiat 500, the second generation, launched, and it was it was a the topic of much discussion in the car magazine office. Obviously, it was it, you know it's got its quirk, it's unique, it's small and nippy and a little bit odd. Um, but I always wondered, you know, what is the kind of person who buys it? Who's the customer? And obviously, I mean, it's so successful. Three million have been sold of that gen or of this generation. Um, but Terence and I used to discuss it a lot. So I used to say, I mean, I hate saying this and it's a terrible sexist, shocking thing, but we learn from our mistakes. I used to say it's quite a sort of feminine sort of girl car. Okay. I would never say that about a car now. Never. Terence used to disagree with me. Maybe he was a lot more ahead of his time than I was. But anyways, I used to say, if a guy comes and fetches you in a car, what does it say about his taste in cars, in this car? Um, Terence used to say what it means. He knows exactly what he's talking about and he's great. And I said, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, we never managed to come to an agreement on it because also he loves Mini and I'm not a huge Mini fan, as you all know. Um, mainly because I'm all about practical and all about expense and whatever, which then maybe makes this one a bit more suitable to me, but just not in terms of space. Anyways, my phone's just dropped there. This has had an update, okay? So it's got new trim levels. You've got Cult Connect, Sport, which I'm, I'm in, and Dolce Vita, and the Cabriolet is obs. Uh, and it's got some new colors. It's got um, other things like the front has been a little bit redesigned. I mean, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, but it's got this new seven inch touchscreen on the, on the uh, higher spec models. Um, a bit outdated for me, not my favorite uh, thing. The sunroof, we all know I hate the sunroof, and this one has mesh covering it, so I can't even like close it, close it. So it bothers me because I can't see the infotainment system properly if it's open. I also just feel hot all the time, the sun's on my head a lot, but it does make it all feel a bit more spacey and airy in here, which is the point, I guess. Visibility is fantastic in this car. Um, so. It's got all the safety features, it's got seven airbags, uh, hill start assist, stability, electricity, control, you know what I'm talking about. Um, still got the little 0.9 litre two cylinder engine, you get 62.5 kilowatts, okay, that 0.5 is important, when it's this little you've got to, you know, take every little bit you get, and 145 newton metres of torque. Um, so it's it's certainly nippy that's what it is it's a city car hey there goes a fellow fiat 500er i mean you just see them everywhere i think my problem with it is the noise of the engine some people love it they find that's part of the charm i'm like shouting at you over it so that's never a good thing for me um i get it i get the nostalgia of it but for me no i think things have moved no now just picture yourself, glass of red wine, some pasta on the go. Ooh. Okay, maybe driving this, then having the red wine, and then, you know, a little bit of a little bit of this. Oh. Fly me to the moon. The claim fuel consumption is four liters per hundred Ks, which is piss all. But uh, I'm sitting at about 6.4 liters. Um, when I got the car, it was sitting at about 5.6, 5.7. So you can get it down depending on how you drive. There's also cruise control. So that's pretty cool. I mean, look, it's been sort of over 14 years. It needed a bit of an update, you know, which is probably what a lot of people might say about me. <laughs> but no, or we can just put it down to iconic, you know, me and the car. Look at me just comparing myself to Fiat 500's iconicism. So the entry level Kelt starts at just under 220,000 Rand. That's like bang entry level. Um, this sport sits at just under 270,000, which I don't think is actually that bad. I think it's pretty good value for money for what you're getting. If you go to the Cabriolets, you're going past the 300,000 Rand mark, but again, you're paying for a little Cabriolet. It's so much more quirky, more fun. So I, oh, I kind of get it. That is shining on my forehead. I can see it now. I look like I'm sweating for the camera. Ach, Mia. Woo! Driving along the coast, pretending I'm in Italy. Space-wise, it's not obviously particularly practical, which it's not supposed to be. It's not a family car, but it does have ISOFIX, so 
I have put Luca in the back uh, with the baby seat in. Fine, he can fit getting him in and out, not a vibe, but here we are, it's a two door. But the, the passenger, well, there's no passenger here if you've got that seat in, it's a bit squishy, you know, knees to chest and all. Um, and the boot's at 188 litres, which is not fantastic, obviously. But I did manage to get three bottles of wine in there yesterday. Oh, bottles, psh, cases, man. Three cases of wine in there um, with a couple of storage things that I bought from Mumbo's. Oh, I love me a little Mumbo's shop. If you're not South African, it's like a big plastic shop. Everything, like a whole bunch of, I mean, I know plastic people, are gonna get plastic haters are going to hate that, but like, you know, like storage bins and things like that and plates and everything, basically. Oh, I can spend my whole amount of money that I get there. <sighs> Anyways, this is a car that I think for the singles, you know, like a, a person who doesn't have kids or doesn't need a lot of space, you know, maybe old Terry pants, you know, he loves it. He could, he could live in the, I, in fact, I don't think he could now. I think he would change his mind, especially if he has to drive to Joburg and back uh, in it with Roscoe, you know, and a partner. Yo, what are you going to do then? There's no space for you. Nothing. So yeah, you have to be quite, quite single or an empty nester and you really don't need space. Just need a a town nip around, then it is perfect. Ah! What a sound system, Polka. In other words, please try. You, 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 fun. Okay, 